When a galaxy or a star travels away from the Earth, we say it's receding. And while it is receding, it will stretch the wavelength that it emits. This phenomenon is known as the Doppler effect, which causes the shift in wavelength towards the red end of the EM spectrum if the star is traveling away from us. We call this the red shift. The true wavelength that the star emits is known as the reference wavelength. We can give it a symbol lambda with the subscript zero. If this star is receding with a certain velocity, the wavelength that we observe on Earth will be elongated. The wavelength that we observe on Earth is known as the apparent wavelength. We give it a symbol lambda. By observing how much the amount of wavelength shifts by, we can figure out the velocity that the star is traveling with. We assign a symbol v to this velocity. And now we need the Doppler shift equation. This equation is a little complicated. I'm going to write it out first, and then explain what each symbol represents. This is the star's or the galaxy's velocity. C is the speed of light in a vacuum. It's always a constant, 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. The Greek symbols delta lambda represent the shift in wavelength. That is the difference between the reference wavelength and the apparent wavelength. And here is the reference wavelength, the actual wavelength that the star emits. This equation will make a lot more sense once we've looked at an example question. A distant star emits light that has a wavelength of 434 nanometers. Due to the Doppler effect, the wavelength of this star as observed from Earth is 482 nanometers. Calculate the velocity at which the star is moving relative to the Earth. The speed of light is 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. Before we do any substitutions, let's rearrange the Doppler shift equation to make velocity the subject, since that's what we're trying to find. Bringing the speed of light to the other side, we have to multiply. The shift in wavelength is calculated by doing 482 nanometers minus 434 nanometers. That is 48 nanometers. Since both the shift in wavelength and the reference wavelength are in the unit's nanometers, we don't need to carry out any unit conversion. Substitute them straight into the equation to get 48 and divided by the reference wavelength, which is 434 nanometers. Multiplying by the speed of light, 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second, we get approximately 3.3 times 10 to the power of 7 meters per second. In other words, that's 33 million meters per second. And this is the speed that the star is traveling at, not a small speed. So here's how you use the Doppler shift equation. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe for more physics.